Oh, no. Oh, yes. That can only mean one thing. Yes, it can. It means, backed by popular demand, it's time for the duct tape special number two. It was one of our most popular shows. I'm giving it all we got, Captain. <laughs> when the Mythbusters paid homage to duct tape, fans went into a frenzy. More duct tape. Love it. Because you asked for it, they're putting more duct tape tails to the ultimate test. Oh, it's for real. <laughs> First, they built a duct tape boat. This time, Adam and Jamie's duct tape challenge might land them in troubled waters. That was a pretty cool boat. Going to be hard to top it. And yet, I feel we must try. So what do you have in mind? I see in my mind's eye a chasm wide and deep spanned only by duct tape. A duct tape bridge. That you and I can walk across. Sounds dangerous. Exactly. A duct tape dinghy's one thing, but using duct tape to replace steel and stone? The tape's mythical adhesive and load-bearing capabilities are about to be stretched to the absolute limit. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You know, before we decide on a final design, I think we should run duct tape through its paces in the shop downstairs. A series of uh, bench tests, if you will. Okay. Look, obviously we're already pretty familiar with the awesome power of duct tape. But if we're gonna make a bridge out of this stuff that safely suspends us above a chasm, we're gonna have to determine a couple of things right up front. One, how much are we gonna need to support our body weight? Two, how are we gonna anchor the duct tape to the sides of that chasm? That's what we're about to test and figure out. Oh, so where do you wanna begin? Let's say we stretch out a single strand and see what it takes to break it. Sounds good, let's do it. Step one, a single strand strength test. Today, the role of our strength testing device will be played by a digital force gauge. I will pull on the duct tape with this hook, and right here, it'll tell me how many pounds of force it takes before it breaks. 10, 12, 13. This is killing me. I don't mean it's hurting, it's just the anticipation. 63. Oh! 67.3 pounds of force to break it. Wow. That's more than I would have thought. Me too. They might be well acquainted with duct tape's awesome qualities, but it still has the power to surprise. I didn't realize the duct tape was gonna be that strong. That means that we could, in fact, build a bridge, in theory, with like three or four strips of duct tape and nothing else. <laughs> that little laugh means Jamie's already plotting to put that theory to the test. I want to stretch four across and sit on it. And sit on it? Yeah. Okay. One strand snaps at 67 pounds, so four strands should hold a 180-pound Heinemann, right? You ready to sit on this? I am. All right, go for it. Slow down, slow down. So you're hanging. I am. I would say I'm off the ground. That's pretty stunning. With a combined load-bearing capacity of more than 260 pounds, the four strands support Jamie. But they're drooping more than his mustache. You're drooping like six feet over 30 feet. That's quite a bit. Yep, it's supporting me, but uh, I have to say four pieces of duct tape does not a bridge make. <laughs> <laughs> We're now going to try a strand of eight pieces of duct tape and see if we get less droop. Will doubling the amount of tape have the droop factor. You ready for sitting on eight pieces? I'm ready. With Jamie sitting pretty on his perch, Adam runs a tape over the tape. And the news isn't good. Four feet of droop instead of five feet of droop. You would think that that doubling of the quantity of duct tape would, what, cut the amount of droop in half? But it didn't. Hopes of a successful bridge are set. 